My name's Jenny, and I want to thank you for joining me on another episode of Orient Update. Today you're in for a very special treat because we're going to go get a sneak peek at the adult fitness course over at Civic Center Park. But before that, I want to take you guys over to Wildwood Amphitheater to hear all about the summer events happening there. All right, we are at Wildwood Amphitheater and I am now joined by Parks and Rec Director, Aaron Watley. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me out. Yeah, of course. I brought you out here because I want you to tell the people all about Wildwood and what it is. So, Wildwood, has this always been a township park? Yes, um, it's been here for eh, quite some time now, but uh, we've really activated the space and fully utilized it the last couple of years. So 2700 Joslin Court, it's one of the few hidden gems in our community. Uh, we have some great partnerships that offer uh, great concert series and movies on the hill all summer long in the township. So. All right, so I know you were talking about the event. So you guys are still doing the free concert series, right? Yep, so the township uh, subsidizes that program through our okay. millage and it's uh, every Tuesday night for 10, uh, 10 weeks okay. and starting off um, on the, the 14th with 13th with uh, North Oakland Concert Band. Okay. They are wonderful. Come That's on. That's awesome. Yeah. And they're what, like an orchestra? Beautiful, yeah. 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 They okay. are. It, It'll be a great night on the hill for everybody. Okay, that's awesome. And you guys added another free event series this year, which is new this year, right? Yep, so uh, Johnny Black's Orient Dot Events and uh, Fago, I think, was one of their sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, they're setting up for another show because shows are going and yep. uh, those movie screens, so they'll have free uh, family night movies out here on Wednesdays. Okay. So it'll what be, are some upcoming upcoming shows? Uh, they have uh, what is it? The League of um, DC League of Super. One Pets. of those superhero yeah. movies. Yeah, superhero <laughs> movies. Uh, a bunch of other cool ones. So. All the good ones. All the good ones. Sorry. <laughs> My kids no. will be so mad at me for not knowing the lineup on that. So. <laughs> Sorry, Mabel. I That's know. okay. It's a bunch of superhero movies, a bunch of kid movies, a yeah. bunch of family-friendly um, concerts, movies, everything yes. happening here this summer. And like you said, we've got a full summer packed of full of events. Um, now, about the space here itself, you guys have recently, in the past couple of years, added some additions to it. Can you want to tell everybody what you guys did? Yep, we're, we're constantly improving our facilities here. Um, last year, a couple of the upgrades we did, uh, we heard some from the community members, pathway lighting, going up the accessible pathway. Two years ago, maybe three years ago, we added an accessible pathway all the way going up and uh, a great seat, kind of flat seating area up top so you can decide whether you want to sit up there or go down to the bottom. Uh, we have a small shelter uh, for eating and then, you know, Johnny Black's, um, they serve great food and beverage out of here and so a nice space to relax and then you can see some trussing uh, some lighting um, and then they got the the big LED screens out there so it's gonna be awesome we're, we're constantly investing in the community in our parks yeah. uh, and it just it'll be fun so there's a variety of different uh, variety of different uh, concerts free and then there's also like pay to play so anywhere from 15 20 $30 concerts. Mm -hmm. um, Another thing about that, with with an adult paid ticket, you get a kid 12 and under free as well too. So keep that in mind. It is a great family friendly event. All of the shows are. I know my son and I have been to quite a few. I think we've seen you guys here as yeah. well too. And it's a good time for everybody. And for those who don't know, this has been nicknamed by many people, the mini pine knob. Before yeah. it was renamed pine knob again. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a great spot. Pick your own seating, bring blankets, bring chairs, right? Yeah. yeah it's perfect. just a relaxed, good environment. So. Right in your community. So right in your community. Yeah, Nice, intimate setting. It's uh, nice. So great. yeah. So definitely be sure to check it out. Now I do want to steal you for a little bit longer. Hopefully you have some more time for me, but oh. I want to go get a look at that adult fitness course. Okay. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. here at the Fit Core Extreme. No. Yeah. Fit Core Extreme. Fit Core Extreme. 
<laughs> fitness course. Joe, don't use that. No, I'm just kidding. Ages thir- recommended for ages 13 plus. This is a great way to test your athletic abilities, or so it's challenge your athletic abilities. Do you think you're up for the challenge? Uh, it's very difficult, but it's a fun course. Now, the fitness course here, I know it's been talked about for quite a while. Tell us how it came to be. Yep, so it's all part of our millage campaign uh, that we were working to complete. So part of it was to put outdoor fitness elements throughout the community. Um, and what better way than to have kind of an area consolidated for yep. a whole challenge course. So we have our, we're out at Civic Center Park and we have our uh, kids playground and then our adult playground over here, our young teen playground. So there you um, go. it's a great challenge. We're just checking off the things on the millage list our well, capital improvement list that the community wanted. So, I've, Yeah, I've seen this mentioned in quite a few community surveys, and we actually had a group of Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts bring it up um, to the township as well too. So yeah. it's nice to see that it's actually been built, and I'm ready to get a closer look at it. You want to show it. me around? I do. Uh, one thing on that, we've what? had... We have had a couple of our staff go through it, and okay. so we will be posting Okay. times oh and see a, a challenge a challenge to the community mm. see if you can beat some of our staff's times oh i'm excited and then maybe for that. we'll give you a little mm. swag if you can beat it okay so, while I'm supplies excited. last so. <laughs> all right let's go take a look all right so we are at the quintuple steps right now what's the point of this obstacle uh I mean, not I think to I fall can guess. not to fall so yeah <laughs> not to fall okay go from one step to the other however you can make it and get to the end. Okay. We pretend this is lava here, so don't go oh. in the lava. Oh, I like that. I can imagine a few different techniques about going fast or going slow and kind of grabbing onto the top of that. So yep. I can see a couple. The next one's a doozy. All right, let's go see. All right, so we are at the ledge hanger, and I'm not going to lie, this one does look a little intimidating. Yes. It's, how, how tall is it? Uh, very, very tall. For perspective, I am 6'4", <laughs> so it's tall. It is very tall, and I see it's color-coded there, so it looks like we're at, we have different levels of yep, green, challenging aspects. Green, yellow, and red. Okay. So, how yeah. high? What's the highest one you can do? Uh, one where my feet are on the ground. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to reach the yeah, green yeah, I one can there. Beat this one, but so this is yeah. to test your grip strength, right? Correct. Yep. Man, this looks this looks really challenging. Yep. It'll be a good one. Next right. one's fun too. I'm excited for the next one. Let's go take a look. All right, Aaron, we are at the <laughs> spider block. Tell me what this obstacle is all about. Uh, it is just like the American Ninja Warrior, where you okay. You gotta spread yourself out, however like you can doing. do it. Work your way across. <laughs> this doesn't seem very efficient, end. though. Yeah, it's not very comfortable either. Not I'm like be honest. <laughs> no, kind I don't. Feel it right back here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but the object is to get yeah. all the way across, and I'm assuming most people would do it like this Correct. or like this. Yep, but however you can do it. Definitely, I don't recommend this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At all. <laughs> all right, let's go check out the next one. All right, Aaron, tell me what obstacle we're on now. This is the jump hang. So okay. there's a platform back there that you can either start off on it or get a running jump. Yep. And however you want to either below or over top, climb all the way down to the end. Which Joe missed recording it, but we both did run, jumped up top, <laughs> grabbed it, flipped over the thing and ended up here. It was amazing. Yeah, and you he can probably hear my heartbeat through <laughs> my speaker or my microphone right now, but. But it was, we both had some really co cool flips over there. Yeah, I, yeah. I promise you, it was very awesome. Jenny did a double, so. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. All right, we are at the wheel bridge. And to me, this one looks pretty tricky. Yeah, it's a doozy. Uh, <laughs> start off at the, the tower back there, hop onto the first one. Do a little pendulum swing, hop onto the next one, onto yeah. the next one, all while increasing your elevation all the way to the end. Again, for perspective, I'm 6'4". And you're standing on standing a platform already. Yeah, it's pretty tall. I, I can just barely, I feel like, reach this one. This yes. is crazy. This is a lot higher than I thought it would be. Yeah. But, yeah, it looks tricky. Mm-hmm. 
All right, we are at our final obstacle here, the tried and true rope climb. Yes. I mean, this takes me back to middle school, mm -hmm. high school time frame, right? Everybody. <laughs> yep. This is everybody. This uh, is probably my biggest fear going into gym class all the time was having to climb that rope. 100%. And this one is a little more difficult because okay. it is pretty rigid. Okay. Um, I want to so say you can't really use your feet. Yep. It's probably 10 foot tall, maybe 12 foot. Okay. And there's a bell up top and that's it. So make your way through the entire course, all the obstacles, finish on this one. Ring that bell. Arm strength, okay. upper core, Yeah. ring the bell, and then you're done. All right, and be on the lookout for when they post their times and see if you guys can beat it. I am really curious. I'm, I'm wondering what everyone's time is, so, and I'm wondering what my time will be off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Mine All right. really bad. So. Well, that is the Fit Core Extreme. So thank you for joining me and showing us around today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. And uh, we appreciate the community support on everything. We'll keep making our green space and trailways better for the residents. And um, we thank you. All right, before I let you guys go today, I also wanted to give you an update on volleyball courts at Civic Center Park here. Starting the middle of June, we're gonna be building two new courts, so be on the lookout for that. You guys can find all of the updates at orionparks.com or on their Facebook page. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Orion Update. Until next time.